I could see that Wah was with purpose. You know, he was a lot of intensity. He told me about this guy, DMX. You know, from there, we decided that I'd make a couple of tracks. When Wah came to Atlanta, I saw a young man asking for help to get off the street. So that's how I viewed it. That's when the role started becoming more defined. I'm the office person focused on doing contracts and communicating on a business level. And Joaquin is the go-getter. I just started focusing on DMX and putting a lot of work on ground. I take them everywhere to battle, perform. We was learning the game as we was earning the game. That's how we was raised. We was raised to work. We just went, oh, this is what we're supposed to do? Oh, hang up some flyers? Oh, make some mixtapes? The tapes was popping. You know what I mean, like, like, I was disrespectful. I was battling on tapes and making disrespectful songs and, and just, just, just capturing what was going on in the hood. So then at that point, we started thinking about names. We came up with special effects and, you know, it wasn't popping. I was living in Yonkers at the time and we were watching Posting. And I'm mesmerized about this movie. I'm just sitting there stuck. They were trying to catch a train. So the train's going and they're riding hard. And each one jumps off their horse to get on there. So I said, yeah, that's rough. Then I thought about it. They're rough too. I said, rough. Yeah, I said, rough rider. She said, ride or die. I said, that's it. Getting radio play in, in those days was the first step to becoming a star and getting a record deal and getting paid. They both understood real quick that they needed to get that single. My father and Puffy's father were very close friends. My pops hooked me up with me and with Puff. He was working with Uptown, doing it real big over there. I worked with Heavy, Mary, Joe DeSlee. You've seen your face in a couple of videos, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So I went to see Puff. Puff told me, listen, I'm real busy. I can't really do much anything right now. But he hooked me up with Chad Elliott. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss was producing the Jodeci album at that time. Make sure you don't go flat on that part. I get a call one day from Puff. He says, you know, yo, Chad, I have these guys that I know who have an artist and they need some music. And why not? I decided to meet under the George Washington Bridge. At that time, there was no office. You know, the meetings were happening under the bridge in the cars, you know, and I could see that Wah was with purpose. You know, he was a lot of intensity. He told me about this guy, DMX. You know, from there, we decided that I'd make a couple of tracks. I brought DMX to his house to work on the first single. Uh-oh. Young man went out and made a name for himself. That was the first song I made. That was the first, that, that was the one that, you know, collectively, they were like, okay, this should be a single. 